Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, man, we're gonna finish this thing up. So, I just pretty much laid it out again, tell you the layout it was three quarters from the center. That leaves 11 studs in here. You're gonna lose one because you're gonna have, you need 12 studs all together. You're gonna have one left over in this wall because you gotta use that, you're gonna use that one stud for your petition wall corner inside corner of post um, so there's a lot goes into these videos as much as so i try to keep them short but there's so much content that goes in there so you'll find me doing things i might not mention because you'll see i might have did it in another video but again i'm putting this in there because this wall is being bisected by another wall coming in from the opposite direction all right so at this point we have this done we're looking at this as to put in our petition wall now for instance i'm going to use this middle section i know they got an offset here but i'm going to use it just to put it in the center of it i'm not going to put it on the offset they offset it over here because this is all sections right so i just want to put this petition wall somewhat in the middle um, so my offset is going to be, I'm just going to take the distance between these two studs from here to here, find center, and then do my layout off that same thing. Find the center, and then go eighth of an inch, 16 to 16, 16, 16, put that in there, then make this my partition blocks for my end corner post, which is a wall that goes this is this old one. you're trying to if you ever wonder how your bedroom has a wall or how you have an extra bedroom how you even have a bedroom it's because of that they put an inside corner post in it's amazing what you do with stud walls man it really is all right so that's that let's go ahead and put that in there oh before we get too crazy into it let's go ahead and put our fire blocks in as well let's do our layout for our fire blocks all right, let's zoom out real quick. So our fire blocks is already given to us. Let's get this down here a little more. So mess with this. So just change the mandates. They saying you can wear a mask. You don't have to wear a mask outside, but you still gotta wear a mask inside. All right, so like we always do, man, I'll put the bench marks out here. Now you know your wall already is six inches. So that number is what? From here to up is what? Give you a couple of seconds. Six. Center block's gonna go center, dead center. Yes, three. So, and you do all that half inch increments, but you know already three inches, three inches. So there's one, two, three. Now while you're there, go at 16 both ways, because you know that's the thickness of your 2x4. Same thing over here. Just want to play in the head of the game. One, two, three. You go 16 both ways. for the future reference all right at this point i know i have three quarters three quarters to centers go from here to here let me see i can put it over here or here look at this let's put it right here three eighths so there's three quarters to three quarters right one two three but i'm gonna go three eighths just to put this stud in the center of this thing here and put the partition wall in here to block it so from here three eighths sits right there i'm gonna go 16 both ways put my extra stud in there and i'll sneak in my 
partition blocks. I'm gonna put it on both sides. Just because I have like two have two walls going there. A plumbing wall or something like that. Let's just say that. Yeah, at this point we kinda of making these things up. But you can do whatever you need to do on your particular drawing as long as you indicate what it is. So creates. Both ways. It's totally kind of different when you're doing it because now you, you saw what you did with the 3D drawings. And then you get away with just making lines. This one you gotta be kind of tedious because you're doing now you're doing with exact measurements. Both of them are exact measurements, but take a little longer. Some people like it, some people don't like it. it. Depends on what job you're working on. They might have you doing interior walls, and that's what you'd be doing all day. Is this? Once you get your routine down, it'll be a breeze. All right, so this right in the center is what we're gonna put. We put an extra stud in there right here. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to make this my partition wall in here. It's kind of like I'm darken it up. Let me make this red. So you can show my extra stuff where it went at. So it became my partition wall or inside corner post. use this and I came again three eighths splitting from the center of both of my studs put that in there zoom in there partition stud or the extra stud right there it's a 12 stud right there I put it in there so I thought I put my blocks in all right so I'm gonna give you a number with these rule of thumb how they do this they go every two feet they literally, they put blocks in, they use two feet. So they go two feet, four, six. Again, the purpose of that again is so you know when you have drywall up and you're trying to screw or drill into there, person know by rule of thumb, it's set on two feet. The blocking should be at two feet. Uh, you might say that, you might not say that, but most rule of thumb and construction, they go two feet. So two, four, six. So we're gonna light our blocks off just like that. And they make them sometimes uh, six inch blocks. Uh, it varies. It depends on what you got, what how far you got left over. But you got about six inch blocks every two feet. They do it. Here already, we're going to have our fire blocks running through here. But anyway, we're going to put a partition block in there uh, on both sides, mostly. So this is an inch and a half. But we're going to put a fire block in there. We'll put a partition block in there, and then put a partition, put the fire blocks next to it, like they show here. So put our block in. So hollow the inside. We hollowed inside. Some people make a sandwich like a uh, trough. Put a straight up two by four, straight up in there like that, just straight down. They don't even, yeah, like a trough. They make a trough or something like that. Depends on which way the wall is coming into it. But since the wall will be, it's three and a half in the depth. Since it's three and a half this way, you can put a block like here and a block right here. So you have a trough. It'd be BB, two blocks like this. And it's be in your wall like that. So imagine this right there. All right. Since we are going to lay this out, we're actually going to lay this out just like we do with anything else. We'll say center. Let's come over here. Let me see. We got, we're gonna make one foot for ours. Cause that wall is only six inches. Let's say two. One, two. So that's five. Let's 
just space this out and go. I just got, let's say there's three is the center. All right, guys, let me make this thing. Uh, let's just put these fire blocks in, well, partition blocks in, in the corner. Uh, corner post blocks in. What we're going to do is this. We're going to literally look at this and say, <clears throat> we know our wall is six feet. We're going to equally everything out. All right, so we know this is six feet. From here to here is three. This is three. Let's go one foot six, one foot six, to get these blocks in. And then we'll make our blocks uh, one foot big 12 inches big well this would be two feet two feet big let's just do this let's lay out quick okay so one foot six come up one foot so that's one foot one foot two foot three four five six well, all right, so 12, let's go six in. Let's put the difference between here and here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go back to three. One, two, oh, I'm sorry. One, two, three. And that's where our, where our block's gonna be for a partition wall. Another block. Let's see. Look at this bad boy. One, two. I don't really make it three big, but in this case, we're just gonna leave it like that. You know, so we got even space. One, two, three. All right, so we got one, two, three. Usually what happens, they put one at the top, a block up top. So we'll make this block up here. They're gonna be a block just because the way they got, we'll do it like the diagram. They got one block up top. And they got another block at the bottom. We'll do the same thing. That's what we usually do on the job site too as well. So if we put a fire block here. One up top and we'll put kinda wanna put one right between the two. We'll split the difference between the two as well. So we put block here put a block in the center and one on top let's just do that we're not gonna worry about getting too deep into it rule of thumb is you put it every again two four six uh, in this case they put it top and bottom and then one in the center so way you know anybody comes behind you they know what they where they can find blocks at for nailing and backing purposes all right let's just do that we came up a uh, foot, half an inch, which is a foot. Sometimes you just you think about things and you're like, man, how would this be easier? And you find yourself making adjustments as you go in the drawing. You just got to indicate that as you go along. Communication is everything, man. If you ain't got that, you ain't got nothing. Set that up already. Now we start putting our fire blocks in and we put our uh, partition blocks in. Again, our block's gonna be a foot. Make them 12 inches, 12 inches. 
I'm just 12 inches. And it goes straight in the center. So we can do the adjustments outside. Oh, that's the top of our block right there. So then this becomes a block. indicate this one it's a symbol for a block this thing right Lock up top. Oh. I'm doing everything just with a ruler. around fit what you're trying to do all right I'm gonna put this block in the center the center block we're gonna split. I'll go quarter inch both ways. It should be this. Should be this. Quarter inch both ways now. Do all our adjustments out here so we don't have to worry about erasing inside like I just gotta do now. So basically what I did, I found center of my army you're using. My fire block centers and just went up a quarter inch both ways because I'm doing a foot inch blocks. So I'm using a half inch scale. So I'm trying to maintain, I use maintain scale so if you measure it, you'll have exactly what it is by using the scale. time you can always make money but you can't get your time back 
so it's playing it wisely. That was today's quote. All right, let's darken this up. Again, this is your petition wall. And that red one indicates that was the extra stuff we put in. So if this is your extra stud, this is a gap between the two, this is what falls in between. Again, they might run a 2x4 all the way down here, they might just do that. Or they might put in, again, one foot blocks. Just so, and they'll tell you, yo, yeah, well, every two feet, you'll fit a block. Well, you know, this is the end, and you say go four feet, you'll fit this. Depends on what the game, who you're working with, what job you're on. That's it. The crazy part about this is to keep the pencil lid off of your paper. That's why it's good to have a hand wipe too next to you. So you can get the lid off your hands. So you can see this on my hands. And then it gets to smear it on your paper. So the tendency you gotta wipe your hands off. Alright. Now we get to our fire block there. Same thing at the bottom. Uh -uh. Caught myself. Sometimes your fire blocks will not be dead center, they will stagger them. They will stagger these sometimes other designs, but in this case I just want to let you know how it all works. You get more advanced when you get it into further drawings. But in this case we're just gonna keep it real simple. All right, so what we left now is some dimension lines. It's a quick dimension line here. Just tell them exactly how tall your wall is, that's what it is, and we'll leave it like that.
side as well. Alright, so let's put in the 12, let's put in the 9, I mean 12, 15, this is set center, so now that's 3. Let's put that line over here. number I'm going to use on this thing here, up in this wall, let's go half an inch, I can do it there, I do it up here half an inch as well, again these numbers you can whatever you use, man. you can use half an inch, quarter, whatever looks good to you, doesn't really make a difference, it's just more likely to have a uniform all the way through, again your lines will not touch the actual structure itself. That's how you do that one and this one. Put the 12 over here. This one will go quarter inch in. Quarter inch in. Flower block in here one time. Measure this to figure out the distance on those. All right, guys, let me finish, finish up this video right quick. So, let me just fill you in. I spilled some stuff in uh, prior to this. Well, I just thought because this video would be too long, so I'm just gonna let you show you in some of the things I've done. You can fall out and do it yourself. So, I came down and put the 15 in, like we always do. It's 15 feet now. I wrote up here this is a double inside corner post, indicating the arrow here so 
I made it, I pretty much scale across here, use this, came across here to keep this line across, get a 45 degree angle this way, and then made a line going across this way. So you are right in there, double in corner posts, inside corner posts, three eighths indicating that this is the center of these two. Three fourths is a TYP, typical, right? I mean, this repeats itself. I put the 16 on center as well. Is it the same as this, All right? Fire blocks went in there. We put that in already. Established that. Uh, what else I can put in there? Dimension lines all the way through. You won't put so much in there. This particular one we did it because again, I'm introducing you more and more into complex co uh, concepts when it comes to wall building. There's a lot that goes into drawings that you have to take consideration that is not being told to you, but you have to pick up on these terminology as it goes on. All right. So this is pretty much the end of this one. End corner post, double inside corner post. Uh, petition for the kitchen wall, which is this right here. And again, we use the, the fire, we use the um, wall stud formula to get this going. All right, so hit the like button, smash button, however you guys want to call it. Subscribe, it'll be more to this thing. You know how I do it.